I'm in Cambridge, very windy today, but nice uh, warm day, about plus 29 Celsius. Yeah, construction is still going on on that bridge. Uh, that's 401 over there. So Toronto is that way. Uh, Windsor and Port Huron, Michigan are this way. And this video is about uh, my phones. So if you might know, I used to carry uh, two phones. One was iPhone 11 uh, Max Pro. And the other one was uh, with uh, Rogers in Canada. And the other one was uh, Samsung S as in Sam 21 uh, from uh, Verizon. And I really wanted to have one phone and then I, I, I even, I didn't even have, uh, I, I, did, I, didn't, I did not know that both of these phones support two SIMs, right? And when I got the, the other phone, Samsung, I looked into that and this phone, first of all, it has a much better camera here, like for video, for YouTube, you know? And if you go into menu, there's uh, in settings under connections, and of course this is Android, under connections, there's a SIM card manager. And the only problem is, is that it supports one physical SIM, and, but the other one has to be an eSIM. Uh, so it doesn't support uh, two of these and that's all that's left from my iPhone because I just I just came up back to my room the guy gave me a cash 500 bucks Canadian for the iPhone which is uh, two years old but it's in perfect condition I had the screen protector, I had the case on it, even though I dropped it a few times, but everything worked, no scratches, no damage, you know. And I explained to the guy, you know, like I said, the only reason I'm selling it is because I managed to activate the second number on my Samsung phone. And why I did this instead of the other way, like instead of uh, moving this number to iPhone, which would be also possible, the truth is, I really like Android better. Like my computer is a Mac, right? Uh, for a long time I was with Windows, but then I switched to Mac and never looked back. Macs are just so much easier, especially for creative uh, people. You know, like I do videos all the time, I do photography, right? Just Macs, I, I don't have any, prob any problems with them. But on the phone side, I really like Android better and I'll just give you an example like when you open the when you open the email app right I don't want to show but but anyway when you when you start typing the email first off you see the numbers right on the iPhone you only see the alphabet to see the numbers you have to switch to the other screen like and then uh, you don't see any punctuation, but like commas and, and, and stops, right? Like at least here you see a stop, you know? So it's so, so much easier to type, you know? And then the second thing is the more uh, really annoying is that if you wanna delete an email on an iPhone, you have to open it, right? You have to touch it, it opens up and then only then you see the garbage, the garbage bin, um, a little picture and you can click it delete right on the Android you just click the you can just select the message like to the left of the message right and then right away you see the garbage can at the top so you can delete emails without opening them right and there's many things like that and then the menu is so much more straightforward and more simple on the Android than on the on the iPhone and then the camera on this thing, like check this out. Like it has, you see this over here? It says uh, one, three, 10, right? So let's see, see this? 10, <laughs> three, one, you know? 
this is what is it 0 0.6 so the camera is really much more robust on this thing and another thing on the iPhone whenever you open your photo app it always I never could find a way to default it to 16 by 9 right it always gives you that uh, 4 by 3 like a camera uh, size but nowadays everything is wide format right like you see here right away it automatically opens up at 16 by 9 see it's very wide right and of course I can do I can do video see like there's so much more stuff in here I can do I think I can do like a panorama the stabilization this magic thing magic wand uh, all kinds of stuff so so now here's the procedure right so when I try to when I open the phone and I open the tray actually I pulled out the tray uh, because I thought it had the spot for the second physical sim card and I couldn't put it in basically I took out the sim card from my uh, iPhone and I try to put it in there it doesn't work and then I open the eSIM manager I mean uh, sim card manager and I see that the second one can only be eSIM <laughs> sorry so I called my provider Rogers and I said how do I get an eSIM for the same number I said I'm not canceling I'm not getting a new phone I just want my phone with that number but to be on the eSIM card instead of a regular uh, physical SIM and it took a while to hammer the point across to the representative because she couldn't understand like so are you getting a new number and no I'm not getting I said I'm just transferring this number to another phone so finally she understood and she says uh, you'll get it in the mail and I'm like wait a second uh, eSIM it's like a big long number like a reference number right why cannot just email it to me like they charge you seven bucks they said uh, you'll see on your next billing cycle a seven dollar Canadian seven dollar charge for issuing an eSIM to an existing number well maybe to cover the you know mailing expenses and stuff like that and she says you will get a card like this in the mail they said it's more secure because if we email it to you they said there'd been a lot of uh, because anybody who has this card can activate the phone you know and basically use my plan where I'm paying and so uh, it took like two days only and I got a no notification that the uh, uh, I have a package at my post office And the customer service told me that you have to act they said you have to call us to activate it and she says or you can do it on the website and so uh, I call them I said okay I have the I have the card the eSIM how do I activate it and the guy says uh, no we cannot help you I said, what's going on or oh, you have to do it yourself he says again to prevent fraud we're not allowed to do it over the phone he says you go you have to go to the to the rogers.com and lo you log in and then you click on your phone number you know kind of like account right so you click on your phone number and you find a setting that says manage manage uh, settings or manage the account something like that and one of them, I, I found it, and one, one of the options was uh, change SIM. And so you click on that, and it opens up a screen, and it says, enter old SIM. Man, how do, it's like a number, I don't know, like 50 digits. Uh, and I didn't want to take out the SIM from my phone. But actually, wait a second. Hi. <laughs> what's the point of taking it out you cannot see it anyway because it's so tiny here so basically you go into iPhone right iPhone about this phone and there's uh, I think it's called SSID 
that's like the long number and so you punch that in and then I punch this this number in the new sim right and that's what one two three four five five twenty digits twenty characters and then I, you click next are you sure Oh, wait, before I did that I, I transferred uh, all my contacts um, via Google you know I found a way and so it's a uh, much quicker you just because I have a Gmail account right so I just click uh, synchronize and I transferred all my contacts to one of my email addresses and then when I went through that activating this uh, the on the on the new phone I went to the same email address and I said you know synchronize and it, then I check and all the contacts are there but actually wait a second so the I missed a step so yeah okay so I I activated this on Rogers my provider website and then it, you see this thing has a has a, a picture e-code or what's it called Q code right and then when you go into the Samsung and you start that sim manager and you click on add a new uh, e-sim and one of the options right away is uh, scan the q code okay so i click on that and then i just scan the q code and it says uh, add this uh, rogers cellular plan yes okay and the wheel started spinning and it took like, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 seconds, boom. Now I see SIM1, Verizon, my 609 number. Uh, SIM2, eSIM, my 226 number for Canada. And then it gives you an option to which one you wanna make primary. So of course I'm in Canada now, so I, I made my Canadian number primary. And uh, Verizon, Verizon sent me a message right away that they said this new uh, number it's on a different network you might not have access to all the features of Verizon really okay I understand and so and then I uh, I dial my number with a hotel phone and I'm thinking it's not gonna work and guess what it's it rings so I can so basically this uh, oh and the the cool thing is that you can assign a different uh, a ringing tone right so my 609 number has one tone and my 226 number Canadian has a different tone so if somebody calls me I know right away which number they're calling I mean it's amazing and I really love this phone uh, and it charges very fast with this tiny baby charger that I had for a while and so now I got rid of that you know I don't have to carry the iPhone cable anymore all my cables now will be like this USB-C because that's what the port is here like that and it's interestingly enough it's the same port it's the same cable that I use to charge my to charge my GoPros you know it's the same cable that I use to connect to my MacBook Pro all USB-C you know so life now it will be so much simpler just with one phone two phone numbers so now this baby works in Canada in US uh, I can even go to Russia let's say when my passport is is uh, issued I'm still waiting for that but I'm not gonna go unless they 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 pull out of Ukraine because I don't want to go well there's still that special military operation is going on and so that's the news the news is that I sold my iPhone so now I'm a very rich guy and in other news I booked a load for next week we'll be moving a massive uh, what is it called Soliman Soliman basically a, a drill rig with a huge boom I moved them before it's about 110,000 pounds I'm loading in Barrie Ontario and I'll be going to Regina Saskatchewan and because it's a drill rig and it's so heavy I'm gonna bring all my axles and uh, Wednesday 
I'm uh, I'm going to call the wrecker company and I'm going to change my trailer like change the necks first off put on the bigger neck that I need for the Jeep and then take off the last axle on my quad now and hook up the booster and then add the axle that we just took off add it to the back and so it's going to be three plus two and i'll have to use shims in there and now the shim between the deck and the bogey is uh, medium size so maybe i should change that to the large size like my now i have the blue one and the biggest one is a red because i know there'll be a lot of weight on the back you know because of the boom like these things are really uh, like the center of mass is really towards the front of the machine you know basically it'll be towards the rear of the trailer and monday uh, monday i'm getting a new tire you know like i have one tire there was a uh, only one tire on the trailer is a retread and it was breaking up like a piece of rubber fell off and it was like there was a like a little hole in there and it it kept growing and so i don't feel comfortable uh, pulling this massive drill rig you know on a tire like that and so i stopped by this morning at cal tire and i said hey you guys have this uh, size Chinese tie 275 70 22 5 and turns out they have them in stock and so I said okay Monday morning I'll be here with the trailer to change the tie it's only like 350 bucks Canadian plus I don't know 40 50 bucks for the install and then the last thing I need to do before before the trip is uh, I need to find a way to change the fuses you know because my uh, the um, when i charge my laptop it keeps burning the fuses and so now i only have one working 12 volt uh you know socket in there so two are burned out so i have to change the fuses and i have no idea where they are uh i think there's one on the passenger side and then there's a bunch of fuses uh under the bed um but I'm, I might as might just drive to the shop that I use in Guelph and you know ask them to change these fuses because uh, now I have this camera right I have the dash cam so it has to be plugged in in the in the front so and my uh, firearm firearm course I was supposed to go for the safety course Monday the guy canceled on me like I already paid the money I said what's going on he says well you were the only person that responded uh, i need at least seven people so we're gonna postpone uh, the course um, so we'll try again in a few weeks <laughs> unbelievable and i said i said so seven is the minimum amount of people you need he says yes and i said okay i'm going on a trip i said i'm a truck i'm going on a trip i'll be back probably uh, beginning of july I said, if you don't have enough people, I'll pay you. You know, because the course is like 200 bucks. If let's say there's only me and two other guys, three, I said, Fuck, I'll pay you. Because, you know, I want to get this uh, PAL, Possession and Acquisition License, before they ban everything. Because you never know what this crazy guy Trudeau might come up with next. So I want to get that done but for now it's postponed and this weekend uh, we have a couple of interesting events happening in toronto there's a exotic car show on sunday right downtown they're gonna close the this uh, i think it's a bluer street they're gonna close the bluer street which is like a regular road and it's gonna cars are gonna be parked right there you know it's gonna be interesting but i look at pictures online and it's didn't see anything super interesting but then also we have uh uh what is called a taste of italy uh, all this weekend in uh in toronto they have this taste of italy kind of like a food festival where there's a bunch of 
uh, kind of like a kiosks, you know, like a mobile places set up where you can just try all kind of food, all kinds of food, and there's uh, there's uh, music, dancing. It's like a festival, like a street festival, you know. So I was thinking of uh, grabbing my camera and going there and uh, do a video, maybe do some uh, street photography, you know. So we'll see. But for now, I'm relaxing. I'm tired of working. So today's uh, Friday, right? I drove three and a half hours today from uh, from Belleville, and so I went to, uh, booked at this hotel till Monday. And so now I want to forget about trucking until Monday. And then Monday we'll start getting ready for that big move. And I'm loading uh, next Thursday next Thursday which is uh, June 23rd so 10 axles uh, don't know yet if I if I'm gonna need the pilots in Saskatchewan pretty sure I don't need one in in Ontario uh, oh and also Monday I need to order a single trip permit uh, for Ontario because this is too heavy for my uh, annual permit so I need a single trip permit and these guys usually take like three four days uh, so if I order it Monday it, it should be ready Thursday I think right when I need to be in Barry to load that monster drill rig okay have a good have a good weekend boys and girls be good ciao